What's up guys? This is the Roferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Grand Columbia. And in this episode, we are engaging the Austrian fleet, or components of the Austrian fleet, as they attempt to leave the Mediterranean. So let's get to it. We have a significant overmatch in firepower. So I'm hoping to capture as many ships as I can, send them back to the Americas where they can be uh, organized into trade fleets and then sent out into the wider world. But well, let's get cracking. So, 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 Admiral's in his 4-3, so select all my force to go up front, followed by my fifths. So they do have reinforcements coming in, but I'm pretty sure we can deal with these ships before they get brought to bear. Can't even see where they're coming in yet. There they are. They're only a mixture of fifth and sixth rates anyway, so we'll, we've got plenty of plenty of means to uh, sort them out. But to be honest, I'm more pro. I'm, I am going to be getting to the stage where I'm going to capture these fleets, but just cash them in because I don't really need extra shipping. Although, yeah, after I've secured, uh, I, I I do need them in the short term as I capture the Bahamas. I may even take the back half of this fleet and just get them to position ready for the next fight, just so I can concentrate on using these fellows. See, they're all sailing at half sail. So, I don't know, only some of them are at the front. You think you're very clever. You killed two of my men. Actually, I might even chain shot you if I if I can. going. Get the these guys turning. Yeah, broadside in from the heavy privateer. To be honest, you might just hunker down and shoot. They're currently... These guys are currently uh, a bit stuck. Try and manoeuvre ahead of Hooks, although you are looking like you're going to be a bit upset. Sail at speed. We've got two ships that can just put shots into uh, the war galleon from the get go. We start firing chain. shot because he's going to be coming to get you. Let's 
sail on around their stern, although this ship's going to be going soon. The round shot as well. Might bring some extra firepower to bear against these ships. Yeah, they've got, they've got a while to go yet. Yeah, let's bring some extra guns to bear. That ship's going to sink soon. Side. You want to start blasting chains, there's a whole lot of ships heading towards you. Yep, yeah, that's that ship's taking on water and he's gone. jumping on them. Excellent. Let's take everybody. Frankly, get them sailed towards the oncoming threat. Full speed. We're gonna be able to, we're gonna be engaging the finger first. Push on further ahead than that. Right now, some people, some of these ships try to turn back on themselves. Your guns are ready. Buy a chain. These heavier ships need to put down by your broadside just to get them done. Blasting the sick rates. You guys need to. These are the ships that need to start squaring up against two fifth rates. Oh yeah, the Admiral died because of <laughs> his ship sank. Five. 
handful of shots. on my pounce on my heavy ships too bad that you're away routing are they do they wait are they running away Fire some chains, see if we can slow them down a bit. I mean, if they're going to let us form our line. Try chase after them, I guess. You men go after this galleon. You men go after. Just give them orders, I guess, because we we'll have to wait and see what's going on. frustrating when everyone sails it when they don't sail at full sail you think why would I ever want you to sail not ah there we go Get that ship to fall back you need to start slowing some of these fifth rays down Pivoting so you can engage some of these ships head on. Keep focusing on the one ship. Just pump them full around shot. Especially as it's wavering. Excellent. Move on to the next ship. Can you Just drop anchor, stay where you are. Get ready to fire chain because they've as they've uh, they've unfilled their sails. No, just firing the regular broadside. Sail on. 
fifth rate's coming our way. We definitely want to fire chain. Just slow the swine down. Damage, so you might just stay firing the ship. Broad uh, round shot now. You push on past the ship. Let you wait here. Because this ship's this fifth's gonna pivot and come through the gap. Putting shots straight into her forehead. Fifth rate's wavering. Get maneuvering of these ships. Pour fire into them. Good hits, good hits. There goes. Oh, no. Surrendered. Now it's just the Sigfrey surrendering. But we're not going to let you get away. There we go. Um, it is tempting to just not, not take them. I think we're going to. Ah, oh, we only get the two. Ah, oh, sad. But there's... Oh, because... Do you guys just run away then? Oh, that's unfortunate. We captured them all, though. Ugh. We'll be lost to our admiral. Back to Porto we go. That's both of them, apparently. Oh, well. Thomas de la Bodega. Let's get repaired. Cool, let's hop back to the Americas, because we've got... Actually, eh... Now let's, let's let you replenish a little bit more. Um, but as we start to liberate more of their colonies, actually, yes, we do have a spare garrison force here as well, because we traded Martinique to the Spanish. So let's put these troops over here ready to garrison Nassau. Listos y a la espera. I'm going to let you guys replenish, and as we start to knock out more of these pustules of British land, oh, I suppose we could have taken you here. Although I am a bit concerned about that Spanish force, but... Oh, well. Let's launch you against Martinique. Oh, Antigua, sorry, not Martinique. Troops have landed, but let's bring you back to here. Although I do want to build a proper guard ship. Ah, let's put a logging camp. A little bit of extra money, and actually let's make sure we are... Yes, building the magistrate. Building the roads up here at York Factory. Make sure you're replenishing, because you're going to go up against Agbuktuk and then Newfoundland. Although you could go for Newfoundland, but I want... I could send one of you guys against them. Uh, 
Although with you, I'd probably go as far as just to not have a bunch of militia in the army. I'd make a proper force. Um, but I don't have any money for that. Misses all look okay. In terms of tech, nothing on the horizon, but we're on the way. Here, let's hit enter. Don't worry, don't worry, Spain, you have no reason to attack us. Yes, and we can attack through Madrid and attack the uh, British territory of Gibraltar, which we definitely will want to do. Aha, the garrison of Nassau are sallying. Well, we will more than happily let them rush, them rush into our muzzles and destroy them. As, as we take over the Caribbean islands, lots of the smaller fleets that we've got that currently are provisioned for trade duties will be able to be employed to actually um, do their job rather than bottling up British armies and preventing them from leaving their ports. Come on, come on, come on, let's get in. Interesting, interesting terrain. Put a bit of a redoubt on top of the hill. Okay, let's actually group my weak infantry together. Probably with my grenadier, uh, maybe not my full grenadier unit. Infantry here. Grenadiers in reserve. Warriors in reserve. And then let's spread the cavalry out. Good. So they're advancing on a broad front. Which means our artillery has plenty of time to take them out. Especially there. God damn, we lost 60 men. Let's get my howitzers to work on different units. Let's let the full artillery focus fire on one particular just to see if we can make them withdraw. There we go. Just let to start weakening these fellows. That means my cavalry can sweep on the left flank and mop them up. right flank, my right flank there's a bunch of buccaneers so they'll be able to be knocked out by my cavalry okay, let's maybe divvy up my artillery to focus on these guys because they may be able to overwhelm our small force can use carcass shot now, they're within range. Fire in the air. Misfire. Misfire. Well, not a misfire, it just didn't work. Okay, let's start using our howitzers to focus on the centre of the enemy's effects. Where's my native warriors move up? Because they are going to be called in to support our cavalry. Good hits. They're all 
all advancing, but nothing to be worried about. The positioning of these guys isn't super great, but they, they will start engaging them before they get into this dead zone. Oh good, it struck the first unit. Went through and hit the 63rd. Same again here. Beautiful. Push the cavalry out. Push the native warriors out. We're going to put a volley into the cavalry. We've knocked down a bunch of four cavalry troopers. on the native tribal auxiliary or the mounted tribal auxiliary God, we're going to hack them to pieces shatter them if we can and go after the 40th support our native Comrades in arms. This cavalry break out onto the flank. Grenadiers are going to join the line, add extra firepower. Excellent. Push on into the regiment of militia because they're pushing into school to engage. These men will be engaged by our infantry. Hit the buccaneers. The artillery is coming in hard again because it's raining. We get we get sound problems in the rain. Okay, make sure our artillery is is hitting the Western European infantry first. Let's get one cavalry unit to break out. Oh no, the militia, that militia unit's routing. Large collapse in the centre. Push on and attack the 36th. Oh, they're shattered. Some of this infantry may come back, but let's see if we can knock out their militia first. Could do with pulling one of these units out of the fight. Tribal auxiliary push up and get ready to shoot. Then colonial light, get over here. He's down the 24th regiment. Bring the general in. Oh, I got some hidden troops shooting at us. Push forward. Hopefully, my general can issue a devastating charge. Artillery, concentrate on the infantry in square. Native African musketeers are still firing, but they're being fired upon from multiple directions, and they effectively are a militia unit, so. Everybody that isn't my general, pursue the. Enemy general's bodyguard. Oh, 
bring them to book. Need the African, oh, the African musketeers are still holding on. Push my African musketeer, my um, native Native American infantry in. The generals. So this is the really annoying behaviours that they've they've somehow implemented. Look, they want to run away. When we chase them, they'll just slowly run away across the whole map. So we have to actually run away to get them to come back. It's sort of stop my artillery from firing. There we go. Now run back in. Excellent, strong infantry. Get up here. Get all my territory to engage these buccaneers out in the distance. Kill the general. Kill him. cavalry across there we go got the general nice 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 good we've got them all that's a bit dicey well dicey is the wrong word annoying <laughs> how they spread out and they kept coming back and ugh just cannot be doing with it but there we go roughly a 10 to 1 Kill ratio. See, my cavalry did super well. My native war auxiliary did super well. Good. So, Austria. What are you going to do? If they push down and take Spain, that would be quite fun. But they're still determined to crush Prussia, though. There's that four, those four ships that we previously engaged. It looked like they were going to trade, but they, they were going to raid, but they apparently are now not going to do that. They got the Marathas. Don't try it, Marathas. We got plenty to be getting on with without, without you coming along and screwing with us. Sweden's in the med. Forty-two thousand's pretty good. Another rake that we don't really need. Traits gained. Courageous leader. Plus two morale in battles. Awesome. Oh, we actually catch the territory. Well, then let's get you replenished. Upgrade the sugar warehouse, get the port repaired. Good, more more goods for us to send forward. Actually, that means we can bring you guys, minus the sloop, out of here. Mm, five galleons is probably enough, right? Unoccupied. That's occupied. Okay, so we've got mm, just a second, guys. So you've got one slot slot in the off the coast of Brazil, and that is where you shall go. Then up here in Yorktown. Let's recruit some um, race of fourth rates. That'll probably fill them up. Ordena, 
fleet arrives. Uh, yes, you're here to jump on. I don't, so who do you want to jump on of the two? Heavy frigate, third, fourth rocket ship. I mean, it could be Britain, right? First and second rate. Sí, mi señor. Que el diablo se los lleve. I was wondering if Prussia would come in to help them. But that's not, and that's okay. Hmm. Yeah, we'll try and capture the first and second rates. Everything else can go to the depths. Yeah, I was curious if, if uh, Prussia would get involved, but nothing there to really worry us. The rocket ship can, fr can throw a few curveballs. My general, my admiral is going to have to be a bit further up than I would like. Okay. Oh, the Prussians are actually going to come in behind us. And they're faster than us, so they may actually be able to do... May be able to get onto the back of our formation. I mean, if they do, my, th my third race will tangle with them. Although they have to sail against the wind to get to our line, so even though we aren't... Necessarily the fastest formation in the fleet, although you're gonna to have to want to turn quite sharp immediately. Actually, I think I might get you all to turn individually rather than try to turn you as a line. Make sure you're all at full sail. Ooh. If we're going to cross their T, they don't want to uh, have anything to do with us. Full sail, if you please. The first broadside off didn't kill anyone, but we are frantically reloading. Fire again, sir. We're damaging the ship, we're not actually killing anyone or Anything like that. Hmm. Well, the next shot wants to be chain. Actually, I don't think it does. I might actually bring this cluster of light ships up here. Because bear in mind, this is our target here. So you sail fast so that Gallo, Gallo and Diano can shoot afterwards. This is not super ideal because we're having to jeep against the wind, but this is where we're at. Stay here, keep them engaged. Keep reloading. Yeah, I'm going to try to cut them off now. I 
once you get on the back of the ring there, you will be fine. Just make full sail to get behind that formation. Thunder at range. You just need to try and get around the back of their formation. The well, two of you may start to engage. Start, you're going to start getting a stern of this entire formation. Second rate's concerned because they're on fire. battle this one. Oh, America's on fire. Let's just put that out. Did you fire at Pisa? You did. Pump broadsides into Medusa. Regret them ever wanting to get involved in this conflict, in this action. You can already shoot, so these guys to sail a little bit faster to try and get shots off at Caesar. just orientate to get involved. Okay, is your fire out? Yep. Fire as she bears is this poor little Rosé. Everybody's alongside and getting involved. You're just knocking seven bells out of this poor Prussian frigate. There we 
go. Get up into position against the against the next group of ships as they come in. Keep firing. Starting to turn away from us. Hey, we took out the rear, the mizzen mast. Excellent. Slow them down a bit. Poor Rosé. It's just having a torrid time. Second race turning away. I mean, it might have stopped. It's beating up time here because doing a lot of manoeuvring against the uh, against the wind. Ships just keep up a constant stream of fire into the enemy ships. Thunder is not very quiet. Thunder is coming in. Unlike Caesar. Caesar had quite enough of that. You. She just drop anchor. Let's serpent. Septentrion, push out ahead of you. Bring more guns to bear. This third race barreling in, but they're going against the wind. Broadside away. We want to definitely capture the second rate. Oh, they, uh, they blew up. Another punishing broadside. Go Retiro! Say on the last mass, this guy he mocks me with his musket. We got him. I oh, he fell down the ship's ladder as well. He fell down into the hole. Oh, they're trying to flee. ships do not let them flee chase after them let them know what it means to stand against us may you just come come full around shot they are very under control their ship Keep pounding Caesar.
Yeah, push in. So those two ships can deal with the last of the second rate. The second rate hordes, you guys. Turn to face the new threat. Surrendered, surrendered. Excellent. You think you're so big, don't you? You've got a third ray, Adrian. Adrian! You think you think you are somehow safe? The rest of the fleet is on their way. This is merely the vanguard. guys go for Alk, the fourth rate. These three are going to go for Adrian, the third rate. I need, I need to knock out some of these masts because they are just running rings around us. It looks like we're going to get that opportunity. Uh, rockets away. Adrian's on fire. One of my ships is on fire, but we knocked out the main mast. So, cease fire at will. Put the fire out. Oh, they're both on fire, actually. Still on fire. Just keep pounding them broadside. So I think when they're far at will, when they're, when they're far, when they are not on fire at will, they put the fire out. When they find broadsides, that just kind of happens. lost one of their masts. The rocket ship is upset. The rocket ship's wavering. Surrender. You are no longer on fire. Neither are you. 
to the chain from this miss actually took out two sails. Little one here and four most of them. Nice. Blast them. Second ray ship of the line pulling in. Hey there, little fella. That dude is mastered, but you're still a fighting ship. Bring Santa Clara in, into the stern position. There goes Elk. Now it's all on to you. It was a commendable fighting retreat, or fighting effort, but I'm afraid it did not work. We are the commanders of these seas right now. Nice, nice, nice. We can bring in the heavy ships to our service, and I might even keep the rocket ship. Get rid of the... F Actually, no, they're all good. Bye-bye, Prussia. Basically, they can all go back to all go back to America for redeployment. So these two are both occupied. What about you, Lights nice and John? Okay, will you just get hold here for now till we can get a replacement sorted? Let's do some repairs. Portugal, New York factory got their roads. Let's get better roads. Let's not upgrade the port yet. Good, good, good. Kayang is quite a valuable little region, so we definitely want to try and keep growing that. Can't remember if I did my port or not, but let's do one here. Ah, let's, let's siege them and get another intern done. I mean, yeah, the Marathas, they are gonna, they're definitely gonna, they definitely want some of our territory. Oh, then any spare money goes into York Factory replenishments because they were short. There we go. Two turns to get reform naval administration. Okay, let's hit enter. More good naval recruitment. Spain is not as elected to not break faith. I mean, they might come after us eventually anyway, because we are, we do have Lisbon, so. Yeah, we need to take the med. Ooh, the, the defenders of Antigua are sallying. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the destruction of the Antigua garrison. Cheers, everyone.